Hi guys, welcome back to The Phoebe Way. If this is your first time on The Phoebe Way, we discuss life in Germany, everything that concerns you as someone living in Germany. We just go through the laws, the new laws. We discuss tips on how to survive it and all the bureaucratic things. And of course, there's the agency, The Phoebe Way, that if you have questions, life in Germany, we help. If you have letters that you don't understand, we help you to understand these letters. If you need to know which agency to go to, which behörde, which office, which institution, we help you to do all of that. And for the month of January, for example, we did the Ausbildungs programs. But for the for the month of February, we are on a break with Ausbildung because we've taken in enough clients. But for the month of March, stay tuned. We're going to have a new program for you if you want to make your life in Germany better. Now, without further ado, let's get into the main issue for this video. The new laws that concern you as a foreigner, as someone living in Germany. So many things are going to happen this month that requires you to be aware, requires you to know what to stay away from requires you to also know that good things are happening and you should be aware of okay so number one the devil works hard but the german parliament being the bundestag and the bundesrat they work harder why because just last last friday being the 2nd of february 2024 the bundesrat approved the dual citizenship law reform reform <laughs> The dual citizenship law reform, which says that you don't have to renounce your previous um, citizenship if you want to naturalize a German citizenship. And if you want to naturalize a German citizenship, it doesn't have to be after eight years, but it is enough for it to be after five years. And if you have exceptional integrational skills, then you can do, the, do this after three years. Good news. Not only that, there was also the approval of the cannabis law saying that one per a person above the age of 18 can now carry and possess a certain amount of cannabis and not just that you can have up to two plants per person per adult that is also a new law that has come in not only that the budget the controversial budget has also been approved and this also has some things that you should be aware of that can affect you. But to add this to this video, is going to be too long. So if you are interested in knowing what the German budget said, I'm going to try to put the links in the description box on YouTube. So if you are watching on TikTok, you might want to head over to YouTube to check those. Or we would have a special um, video dedicated to that. So that is another thing that has happened. But these are the three big things that happened over the weekend. But not only that, there was also the law that was approved being that if you are in, um, so if you are supposed to be deported, it is not just 10 days that they can hold you or detain you before deportation, but also 28 days, meaning that they can arrest you earlier and then take you into detention and prepare to have you deported. So that is another bill that was also um approved as well so these are the four main things that have happened over the weekend now let's get into the laws that have actually come into effect as from february number one is that when you're going to buy medicine right and let's say your doctor says you need 20 um 20 of this particular 20 dose, uh, dosages of this particular medication you go and they only have a 10 pack and they say okay because it's 10 we need to give you two times 10. And if you live in Germany, know that if it's prescribed by a doctor, you pay just five euros on top, right? And your health insurance takes the rest of the bill. So instead of them to give you the 20 pack, they give you two times 10 pack. And then they tell you that because it's two times 10, you have to pay two times five euros. Meanwhile, your doctor wanted you to get 20. And if they had the 20 pack, you would have paid only five euros for one 20 pack, right? Now, the law says that depending on what is on the person's prescription, once the person is supposed to get 30, once the person is supposed to get 20, it doesn't matter how the, um, the pharmacy does it, but it can only pay 5 euros once. So that is the new law that concerns pharmacies or you going to buy prescribed medication in pharmacies. 
another law that has also come into force this February is that the meat on on these free marks, like on these open marks, when you go for walking marks, the weekly marks and everything, they also have to tell you the kind of meat it is and where it is from. You already see that in supermarkets, but when you go on to, when you go to the markets, the open markets, you normally don't see that. But now they also have to tell you where the meat comes from. Good. One very important thing is when it comes to criminal law or criminal procedural law is that normally if you get a fine that you have to pay, you would be hearing the word target set. So let's say you get 60 target sets, meaning that you have to pay 60 days of that particular rate. So they say um, sex target sets are fifth oil, for example. So your fine is actually 300 euros, but it is broken down as 60 days. And for each of that 60 days, you have to pay five euros. So five times six is five times 60 is 300, right? Now, if you're unable to pay the fine, you would have to go to jail for 60 days. That was the previous um, thing. But now, if you have um, a fine of 60 days and you cannot pay it, you don't have to go to jail for 60 days anymore, but rather for 30 because they say that one target stat is one, a half day in jail. So one target stat is a half day in jail. So because of that, you don't have to pay, you don't have to go to jail for 60 days, but rather for 30 days. That is also another thing that has been new. Apart from that, if you are looking forward to change your heating system in your home, you are eligible or you could be eligible for funding. And from this 1st of February, the applicants or eligible applicants can apply to the KFA, being the developmental bank, and get the funding for that as well. Now, January was the strike month, and it's not looking like February is going to be any different. So please, before you plan any trips, if you have any trips lined up for February, please make sure that the airlines or the airports are not going through any kind of strike. Please make sure that your local bus and tram systems are not striking, or also the big trains, the ICEs, the S-Bahn, the Regios are also not striking. So that is what you should be looking out for. Apart from that, I wish you the best in the month of February. Stay tuned to the Phoebe way. I have great things coming for you. So hope you do subscribe. If you're on TikTok, just follow. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.